pause it now. Uh, for now, the virtual ne network function uh, we think it is mature. And now the containerized networking function is marching into Gromia. So in the picture, you can see the timeline for each stage. Uh, at the beginning, uh, around 2012, uh, 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 um, SG is set up named natural uh, natural function uh, a network function virtualization in uh, ATSI, which is uh, Europe standard uh, institute. Uh, it's a very key uh, standard organization uh, define how uh, telco uh, cloud uh, is defined, how the architecture uh, is designed. So at that time, and also that's the same year that OpenStack is invited. So in that age, um, uh, both the IT and the CD field uh, is evolving into the virtualization uh, phase. And after two years, the first GNV site was set. And uh, after, after another uh, two years, most of the new deployed network uh, function virtualization is based on the uh, uh, this NFV, uh, what we call the virtualization uh, platform, and also uh, most of the vendors, especially in the uh, technical uh, field, is uh, build their platform based on the stack. So that's uh, was what we say the golden age of open stack, and uh, uh, around 2019, the uh, every massive uh, in production in China and uh, is. It is, not, uh, it is millions of, it, of course, it's deployed, and our uh, 5G course is running on that. Uh, that's the golden age for the past, for the virtual network function. And now, uh, the, the new 5G core is moving to Kinder, uh, Kinder, uh Air, and uh, uh, at first, the standard, the Kinnina standard is set up in ETSI 2 and there is a, a architecture that uh, co uh, evolved from a previous uh, virtualization age to the new era, and I will introduce that later. Uh, now, uh, there is uh, also a requirement for uh, bare metal container, that container running on bare metal servers. Uh, the PLC is succeeded in uh, two years uh, before, and the first uh, business or uh, commercial launch for Bermuda Container 5GC is uh, in last year. Uh, in the right, I would like to uh, share some uh, uh, different uh, requirements for uh, telco, uh, uh, telco business. Uh, the performance is quite important. We require uh, low latency and also uh, the high utilization rate. It is because that the center uh, they are not uh, uh, saying that maybe several or tens of servers, but it's thousands, tens of thousands of servers. So the uh, uh, the carriers, the operators, they uh, really care about the usage and the the, the high availability. Uh, it's a little bit higher than our use, uh, usual uh, IP app or uh, maybe public cloud uh, because, uh, as you know, if you cannot call, uh, uh, search online, uh, that's okay, but if you cannot call 911 or uh, that, that, that's important. Uh, so uh, our evolution strategy will uh, be, uh, first, we need to protect the ex uh, existing investment. Uh, by generation to generation, uh, from maybe two, three, four, five G, uh, car uh, the carriers they have to uh, invest uh, so many servers. So we need to evolve smoothly. Uh, our solution need to cover uh, their previous uh, investment, and uh, uh, so that uh, we also need to uh, run uh, different generations of. Uh, application in the same uh, pool, so we need a unified resource pool. Uh, and uh, there's a uh, different requirement from different uh, carriers uh, based on their business requirements. 
uh, different countries, they, uh, they may plan uh, on different uh, phase of the uh, telecom deployment. So uh, their uh, evolution pace is indefinite. So we, our solution, our one single solution need to cover both of these requirements. Uh, since we are uh, moving to Canadian Air, what we can do? Uh, from our uh, perspective, uh, we have three key uh, view to share. First, uh, we, uh, we are uh, using scaling or the extension uh, instead of new build. Uh, in our current uh, uh, active production environment, uh, this size, we need to uh, provision new uh, bare metal servers based on the current resource pool, and uh, we will build uh, like uh, the new container clusters based on maybe running on virtual machines or running on uh, uh, directly on the bare metal nodes to support the network function deployment. Uh, the second is our DV engine is infrastructure. Uh, we use OpenStack as the S layer to cooperate with different kind of uh, hardware, the historic uh, like the net network cores, the the chart, uh, XPUs, those things, because it is really good at that, and the, the ecosystem is mature. And uh, uh, we will also take advantage of uh, Kubernetes cloud native concept. It can manage uh, the uh, the quick deployment, uh, the life cycle, the scheduling, all the things. We will we'll use that to manage the business level of or the platform level at, uh, for uh, as the container infrastructure, what we call the cost. Uh, also, uh, to can in integrate these two layers, we have a unified management interface uh, for cloud management. With the help of the, the, this uh, architecture, we can provide uh, multiple computer resources. Uh, this is because uh, uh, different generations of uh, telco uh, applications, they got different uh, requirement for the infrastructure. Uh, some of them, uh, it is uh, the cost to migrate from uh, a single application to a cloud native uh, micro uh, uh, service is very huge. So uh, they will leave, they will stay in what they are and. Um, they will uh, run maybe on uh, virtual machines for a long time. So for us, virtual machine, bare metal, uh, container, they, uh, they will live uh, maybe in, uh, in, uh, in the same time for a long time. So our solution needs to provide uh, multiple scenarios that is bare metal, a virtual machine, container in bare metal, container in uh, virtual machine, uh, based on the uh, quality, based on the uh, the cost based on their uh, the requirement for the uh, the, the site. Uh, this is the uh, architecture that uh, uh, defined in the uh, telco standard. Uh, you can see that there's uh, basically two uh, color. The the blue one is related to the virtual machines. The the the, the uh, yellow one related to the containers and the you can see that uh, the storage or the network, they half and half. So that means we share the same service for both. For example, uh, for Neutron, it can manage networks. And uh, since uh, its network concept is uh, quite mature, and we can use that for uh, the container uh, connections. So the, the high level management service for Neutron, we may deploy one single uh, Neutron service for uh, a whole solution for both container and uh, virtual machine man management, but also include bare metal. And in the live site, uh, it has the management uh, panel for uh, uh, for the uh, technical business. Uh, there are several components uh, for the CCM and the CISM, best for the container clusters. And for the NFVO, NFV, uh, VNFM, uh, that is for the business orchestration to 
uh, did, uh, to handle the whole solution and to uh, based on the solution level requirement to dispatch uh, at the business and also the resources. So this is the end-to-end -end solution. And in the low level, we have Veeam and Pim. Veeam uh, is related to virtual, uh, virtual uh, ice layer management to ice. That is what we, uh, we are using on the stack. And the Pim is for the physical layers. It is managing all the hardwares. So in this architecture, uh, uh, in the resource part, we uh, when it's saying to product the existing uh, investment, we will share the storage and, and network. Uh, based on our, our observation, 25% uh, can be integrated uh, and uh, the resource will be saved. And uh, Without uh, uh, network design, new new network design, we can uh, scale uh, new resources, and uh, that will save five uh, fifty percent uh, time of the the of the TDM. Uh, regarding to the management, as I mentioned, it is uh, a com conform to the ETS standard, and uh, uh, we will manage uh, a single uh, Kubernetes for multiple clusters. There will be no silo. Uh, okay. Uh, for the new container architecture, uh, we uh, will introduce our, uh, some uh, enhancement based on the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem to achieve the extreme uh, performance, and that's the key uh, uh, value uh, to provide for the customer. Uh, for first, uh, we converge the, our uh, services, both uh, uh, including the compute, storage, and the network. Uh, for compute part, uh, we uh, we can use both virtual machine and environmental in the same solution. For storage, uh, we use unified storage for both uh, uh, for multiple resources. Uh, for the network part, we uh, it is uh, much related to the low level OS, OS level and hardware, hardware level uh, accelerations. Uh, we have like uh, those SROV, DPK, those, those EBS, those uh, transmission technology, uh, also uh, associated with the, uh, uh, the our uh, network card, NP card. Uh, to uh, support this the high performance network transmission. Uh, since it is a telco solution, so we need to conform the uh, ETSI standard. So uh, the multiple cluster management, uh, uh, we we need to conform to that, and uh, it also supports uh, uh, cluster lifecycle configurations and management. You can see that, uh, as mentioned, CCM, those, uh, those components as uh, responsible for this part. Uh, in, in, uh, the enhancement based on the Kubernetes, we have several uh, performance uh, enhancement uh, features, uh, which, are, which are the CPU isolation, that is uh, for uh, some uh, uh, high priority uh, business, we need to, we need to provide a, a dedicated course for them. Uh, it is not shared. Uh, no matter when this happens, uh, the this resource will not be uh, completed with others. And uh, uh, to keep uh, to provide the high ability, uh, we need some uh, anti affinity uh, topology uh, based on the new ma uh, scheduling. Uh, the hill page is uh, the key uh, memory uh, management feature. So, uh, but also there is uh, a set impact that has there. It would uh, lead to some memory fragment. So we uh, create a, a we uh, compose some uh, algorithm to manage our hill page. Uh, with the help of this, we gain 20% uh, of the performance uh, uh, increase, and uh, for a single Kubernetes cluster, we can uh, manage uh, 4,000 watch machines. And with the help of the NP card, uh, the acceleration rate will uh, uh, go to 30%. 
Uh, this is uh, uh, a unified uh, infrastructure that can support uh, multiple relative computer resources. Uh, in the low level, there is hardware, so, and uh, you can see that uh, in isolator, it is uh, the OpenStack will help to provide uh, both virtual machines and environmental. This experimental can be used uh, uh, as a single server, or, uh, but also it can be uh, provided as the basement of the Kubernetes. Uh, uh, on virtual machine or experimental, uh, it's run the uh, Kubernetes clusters and also the applications inside the pod. Uh, for computer parts, uh, uh, the solution support both uh, X, uh, uh, 86 uh, ARM servers. On the source bound, the hardware ecosystem is built based on uh, OpenOla, and uh, the tenant user uh, can be uh, provided with virtual machines and bare metal resources. For the storage, uh, we uh, the the major uh, the first uh, recommendation is uh, our own disagree uh, disagree because there is some customized uh, features. But all the open source the top storage vendors that uh, that can be uh, can be found in OpenStack is supported. Uh, for the network network part uh, is extremely diff uh, complicated. There is a several kind of network device. Uh, including the software SDN, hardware SDN, and the non SDN. Uh, uh, for uh, tenant users, they can uh, uh, provision, uh, provisioning uh, different kinds of resources by, with the help of this. So from the top level, you just uh, give a single uh, requirement that for the business and all the uh, network, storage, computing resources will be uh, uh, provisioned and uh, orchestrated automatically. Uh, this is the key component of CCM, as I mentioned. It, uh, it will pro help to provision cluster on demand. Uh, uh, since the container platform is more uh, cohesive with the applications, so uh, to support the different uh, deploying requirement of the containerized applications, the, the platform should uh, uh, support both uh, dedicated cluster for different uh, tenants, especially when uh, there may be uh, independent maintenance or security isolation considerations. So uh, for the cluster lifecycle management, uh, it will support the virtual machine and environmental uh, containerized cluster uh, to to provision uh, provisioning and, and recycling, scaling out, up and upgrading. Uh, also, there is a requirement for the node level uh, uh, management. Uh, for most scenarios, customer will apply a batch of the uh, uh, nodes uh, with a number of them to construct uh, a cluster. So. Uh, but when a uh, user apply uh, changes in batch on this node, the, the, so this pooling feature is required to manage the, the requirement from high level. Uh, this uh, system also should provide a uni uh, unified cluster configuration interface as the only uh, management interface. So uh, the system should support customized uh, configurations uh, for uh, the the yellow marked uh, CISM and the CIS. Uh, this is a uh, uh, use case, uh, 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 real case uh, uh, recommendation for how to divide the clusters. Uh, there are several uh, types of the feature, uh, the business uh, that is patch call uh, and the voice call. Uh, for patch call, it divided into two parts: is uh, management panel and user panel. Uh, all these uh, four type of uh, the business are divided into uh, independent uh, clusters, is, uh, except the, the, the signal part because its business load is uh, little, uh, is quite weak, so it will be combined to the management panel. And for the others, they are uh, independent. Uh, because they focus on different kind of uh, uh, requirements. Some are uh, focusing on the high data processing. Some are focusing on the network package transmission. So uh, because of their uh, different kind of requirements, so we need to divide them into uh, different clusters. And all these are for uh, trusted drones. 
for the management zone, it, it also it is also an independent cluster because for consideration uh, for se uh, security consideration and uh, uh, we also need to consider that when there is uh, operation uh, user or admin uh, operations, it will not impact the real business. Uh, to achieve the uh, extreme performance, we have uh, three uh, uh, aspects uh, of, of uh, features to uh, to improve the uh, performance. First part is about the, the pooling. We uh, we we do uh, the CPU and the memory resource pooling. Uh, for the uh, we have a normal and isolated course. As I mentioned, for normal course, it is shared. Uh, business uh, can share the same core, and they can uh, they can borrow and uh, bor uh, and 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 return when when there is a uh, requirement. But for uh, for isolated course, it is for high priority business. And for uh, this uh, huge page memory, it also have uh, it can manage small pages when there's requirement. Uh, this uh, manager will dispatch. Uh, uh, we will allocate and re, uh, rec rec recycle when, it, when there is requirement. Uh, to uh, reduce the fr fragment of the memory, we also uh, change that from uh, a static configuration to dynamic configuration uh, based on the, the dynamic uh, uh, data that of the business. Uh, for the, the, the scheduling, uh, we need to uh, consider both high availability and also the resource usage, because uh, for technical uh, business, it, the high availability is the first key feature. So, uh, when we consider the, the this this uh, about, uh, this strategy, we will first to con confirm that the, the high availability the service will not be impacted. And then we'll uh, make the best uses of the, the resources. Uh, for the high network uh, transmission, we have the, the EVS, SRV, DBDK, this kind of technology to uh, integrate with our MP card. And we will achieve, uh, for the platform, we can achieve 15% uh, 50, uh, of performance enhancement. For, from the uh, application level, it will, it will be a 20. And uh, the, this is the high ability, what we define four level uh, uh, high ability uh, computing resource apply for the platform. For, the, for level one, it is for single fault tolerance. So when there is, uh, uh, there is fault, maybe uh, hardware or some, something, then we need to restrict the, this fault inside a single unit. To achieve that, we uh, we need some. Uh, for example, the, the feature will be resource redundant, uh, the HA level auto heal. Uh, we we can isolate from the network configurations, or we we also need provide uh, our overload protection and uh, protection. So for level two, it is a global service for tolerance. So when there's a key uh, service like a storage dump we need to make sure that the business is not, not affected. So in this level, we, uh, we, uh, we di divide, uh, we isolate the, the management level and the user level. So when there is a management uh, service down, the, the, the business will not, not impact it. Or we, we can provide a storage pool uh, for, the, uh, for the bypass. When there is a, a storage down, then our applications run uh, in the minimal requirement of the resources, and um, uh, it can run for hours and or even days after we can fix the storage. Then it will reconnect and rec uh, full recover all the features. Uh, for level three, it is uh, about uh, when we de detect that there is a healthy resources, it can be recovered deterministically. Uh, we uh, it's uh, most likely some uh, like very low level uh, fault like texture loss, uh, some memory storm or um, uh, UC detecting or uh, isolating or there's some CPU downloading or uh, isolating this kind of features. 
For level uh, four, it is uh, it's regarding to proactive to detect the uh, the base, uh, the fault and uh, proactively to uh, fix and the monitoring the uh, the fault to make sure the business will not impact it. So that's all for my uh, new engine solutions.